Venous reflux occurs when blood in the superficial veins goes in the wrong direction. This is the most common cause of varicose veins, spider veins, chronic swelling, venous stasis dermatitis, and even venous ulcers. In order to understand how venous reflux occurs, we must first understand how normal veins function. Veins have two primary methods to bring blood back to the heart. The first is the calf muscle pump. The large veins in the calf are completely surrounded by muscle. When the muscles contract, they squeeze the vein and push the blood up. This is similar to squeezing a tube of toothpaste. The second method is valves. Valves act like one-way doors inside the veins. They allow the blood to come up, but not back down. So what is venous reflux? In your legs, you have two sets of veins. The deep veins are much larger than superficial veins and are responsible for around 97% of the blood returning to the heart. The superficial veins are the veins just beneath the skin surface. They are less important and carry only about 3% of the blood back to the heart. The most important and largest superficial vein is the saphenous vein. In healthy veins, blood is flowing in an orderly fashion from the small superficial veins into the saphenous vein and then into the larger deep veins and up to the heart. Certain risk factors cause increased pressure in the veins. This is commonly seen in people with a family history of vein disease. It is also commonly seen in obesity, pregnancy, and jobs that require prolonged standing. At some point, the pressure in the deep veins gets so high that some of the blood actually turns around and goes backward into the saphenous vein. So, now the saphenous vein, which was not very important when the veins were healthy, has become a big problem. The blood in this vein begins to flow backward under high pressure. The branches of the saphenous vein then fill with high-pressure blood going in the wrong direction. These branches begin to dilate like water balloons, and increase tremendously in size and even in length. Here's a simple way to think about venous reflux. Let's pretend that there are two cities. One city is called feet, and the other city is called heart. These two cities are connected by a large, five-lane highway, called Deep Vein Highway. The saphenous vein side street runs parallel to the Deep Vein Highway, which connects to many smaller side streets called peripheral vein streets. These streets have houses with tiny driveways. In a normal situation, there is an orderly flow of cars going in the same direction towards the city of Hart. The cars leave the peripheral vein streets and join the saphenous vein street. The cars on the saphenous vein street run parallel and in the same direction as Deep Vein Highway. The cars on saphenous vein street enter Deep Vein Highway through an entrance ramp on their way to the city of Hart. A large number of cars sufficiently going in the same direction toward the city of Hart. Now, let's pretend there is a backup on Deep Vein Highway. The traffic on Deep Vein Highway begins to build. Because of traffic, some cars are forced off of the highway onto the saphenous vein street going in the opposite direction. Some of the cars that are going backward on saphenous vein street begin filling up the peripheral vein streets. Some even go off the road to form new streets. Eventually, there is a traffic jam filling up these tiny side streets and driveways. The side streets have to get wider and longer to accommodate all of the new traffic. More and more cars crowd into driveways, forcing the driveways to get even larger. These side streets appear on your legs as varicose veins and the driveways are spider veins. There are two ways to fix the problem and redirect all of the cars back in the right direction. The first is to open more lanes on the highway. We widen the deep vein highway by performing deep vein procedures. But widening the highway is often not necessary. The second way would be to close Saphenous Street. When Saphenous Street is closed, all of the traffic remains on deep vein highway. This relieves the pressure on varicose vein streets and spider vein driveways. Closing saphenous street is the essence of superficial venous treatment. Procedures like endovenous radiofrequency ablation and clairvein are simple, minimally invasive treatments that close saphenous street. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of traffic on the side street and driveways. Closing the highway exit will not remove these cars. The second important part of treating superficial venous disease is the cleanup. 
This is why we often have to perform additional minor procedures like phlebectomy and spider vein treatments to remove the remaining cars from varicose vein streets and spider vein driveways. Thank you for taking the time to learn about venous reflux.